might want to sit down for this. Or stand up. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 comedic peeing scenes in movies. There's something wrong with your toilet. For this list, we are taking a look at cinema's most humorous urination moments. Hey, big guy, how'd it go in there? I missed. <laughs> what does that mean? I missed. Oh, hell no. Number 10, Morning Wood, The 40-Year-Old Virgin. The chicks in the audience might not identify with the opening scene of The 40-Year-Old Virgin, but any guy can definitely relate. Having four decades of carnal repression under his belt, Andy wakes up every morning with a pitched tent. While going to the bathroom, he must position himself at a precise angle to avoid catastrophe. The scene works as a perfect introduction to our main character, summing up all his pent-up sexual frustration. Oh, and if you assume Andy will have better luck peeing while sitting down, think again. Whoa. Number 9. I don't really gotta piss. Tropic Thunder. Hold up, Mac. Keep it on down. The urine takes a backseat to the hilarious chit-chat in this scene from Tropic Thunder. With the cast spiraling into their own personal apocalypses, alliances have to be formed. Pretending to whiz alongside his young co-star, Kirk Lazarus aims to gain Kevin's trust. And I know Stephen, God of women convinced me out here making Planet of the Apes on YouTube or some shit, but I don't buy it. As if that exchange wasn't awkward enough, Tug Speedman also tries to recruit the actor-turned-soldier. Since Tug doesn't need to pee either, he improvises with a can of booty sweat. I'm gonna level with you, bro. I don't need to pee. It's the wartime equivalent of a water cooler conversation, complete with deal ceiling butt slaps. Lazarus, it's gonna torpedo the movie. He's way out on a limb with his character, and I think he's getting cold feet. Number eight, you ain't cool unless you pee your pants, Billy Madison. I had an accident. In Big Daddy, Adam Sandler taught a generation of children that it's cool to pee on the side of a building. In Billy Madison, he taught kids that it's even cooler to pee your own pants. Hey, look everybody, Billy peed his pants. Of course I peed my pants. Everybody my age pees their pants. It's the coolest. At least that's what Billy says to save his classmate from embarrassment after an accident. You ain't cool unless you pee your pants. Dampening his crotch with water, Billy sells the soiled pants look to his fellow third graders. Hey man, Ernie pees pants too. All right. According to his logic, the coolest person there is actually an old pioneer lady. If peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. Gross? Sure. Immature? Totally. Wet your pants hysterical? Absolutely. That was the grossest thing I've ever heard in my life. Let's go! Number seven. Is this your special bush? Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Excuse me, I, huh? I, just, I have to ask you, why, why, you, why are you peeing right here? Have you ever been doing your business in a public restroom and even though there were plenty of other open urinals, some guy decided to use the one right next to you? Why'd you pee right next to me when you like choose that bush? Or... Well, this is a good bush to pee on. This scene from the first Harold and Kumar road trip captures that uncomfortable sensation but takes it to another level by substituting a urinal with a bush. Is this your bush? You have a special bond with this bush? As Kumar urinates, a dead-eyed Jamie Kennedy emerges as if from nowhere and joins him. I'm sorry? What? You f***ing tree hooker? Is this your special bush? We never figure out what this creeper's deal is, but some questions are better left unanswered. Nice pubes. Thanks. Number six, Tiger in the Bathroom, The Hangover. <laughs> After a wild night on the town, chances are you aren't gonna be too observant the next morning. Even the most hungover person should be able to immediately detect a jungle cat though. When Alan makes eye contact with the tiger in the hotel bathroom, his brain is too burned out to respond. He doesn't even cease his stream of urine, pissing on the floor and then casually returning to the toilet. It takes another second, but the party animal eventually notices the actual animal in his presence with uproarious results. <gasps> 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 Number five, 
I can taste the bubbles, American Pie 2. <laughs> it's an American Pie tradition for Stifler to consume some form of human excreta. I've got a surprise for you. Close your eyes and get ready. In the franchise's second helping, Stifler thinks he's about to get showered with champagne. This is kind of kinky, and I like that. Bad timing befalls the horny degenerate, though, as his date's knocked unconscious as John uncorks himself from the balcony. Oh, that's it. Bay the Stiffmeister. Stifler is completely clueless as he attempts to taste the bubbles. How did you get it so nice and warm? Ah, oh, I can taste the bubbles. But the truth eventually hits him on the head. Wait a second. While the scene itself is priceless, Sean William Scott's horrified reaction gets the biggest laugh of all. Here's to you, Stiffmeister. Oh. Number four, Mr. Doubtfire, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> you never really know another person until you've seen them go to the bathroom. You'll likely learn more than you want to, though. When Chris walks in on Mrs. Doubtfire peeing while standing up, he realizes that his nanny is actually a manny. Oh, good. Mortified, Chris runs away as the he-she hurriedly zips up. What? Uh, uh. Caught in the act, Daniel breaks character and goes from soft-spoken caretaker to stern father figure. I'm not who you think I am. Yeah, no shit. Watch your mouth, young man. This is one housekeeper who clearly has the whole package, but he, she wisely left that off his, her resume. Dad? Yeah. Number three, bottle pissing, dumb and dumber. Did you get a chance to pull over? Yeah. <laughs> With no time to pull over, Lloyd takes an emergency pee break using five empty beer bottles in this scene from Dumb and Dumber. What is in one of the empty beer bottles in the back? Just on the floor. Keeping his eyes fixated on the overflowing bottles, Harry loses sight of the speed limit and gets pulled over. <laughs> The officer decides to reward himself, mistaking the piss for Grandpa's old cough medicine. Sucking back on Grandpa's old cough medicine? No. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no. 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 Uh -uh. no. Yeah. Well, what's that? He quickly realizes that the cold one was actually a warm one, however, cracking up in disgust as the audience cracks up in laughter. Sir, no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, sir, don't. Don't drink. You'd keep your mouth shut if you knew it was good for you, buddy. That's what he gets for drinking on duty. Tic Tac, sir? Get the hell out of here. Number two, peeing fountain, Austin Powers in Gold Member. Austin Powers had more than enough urine to evacuate in his first adventure. Comes up short in Gold Member, though. Accidentally unplugging a peeing fountain, Austin must stand in to maintain his cover. He tries to keep going with all his fortitude, but inevitably runs low on fuel. <laughs> Fortunately, there's plenty of Aquafina and asparagus on hand. Although Austin agilely plugs the fountain back in, the guard is still alerted by his pee's potent stench. This leads to a judo chop and one of the franchise's funniest visual gags. Oi, just go to the house. Before we take a number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Stop the car! Son of a! What the hell's gotten into you? My thing got stuck in my zipper, I got piss all over my pants. Yo. So I just drank my own pee for the first time, and it ain't bad. I never thought to do it. I always thought, you know, pee stink, whatever, but... I lost the money. And I peed my jeans. Sorry. I peed them. Oh. Number one, Mike Check, the naked gun from the files of Police Squad. 
of the Queen's American Goodwill Tour. In addition to being a superb peeing scene, this bit also sums up what makes The Naked Gun a comedy classic. It starts out with an already funny setup, having Frank go to the bathroom without realizing his mic is on. Chair in the the filmmakers don't stop there, however. They make his actions as loud as possible, the crowd's reaction as appalled as possible, and even work a song in there. <laughs> then, just when you think it's over, Frank gets a second wind and flushes out a few farts as a finale. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? I'm thinking there could be a Teen Choice Award in it for you. What big screen scene made you piss yourself with laughter? <laughs> for more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.